Hello, captains. It's me, Tonic TZW. We're here in the campaign reward ship, the Tier 7 Jaeger. Now, unlike the official CCs, I have to play through the campaign to get my hands on this ship. So you've no doubt seen on some of their channels that they've been playing it on live stream and they've already put a few videos out. But I've had the chance to get um, 10 games in with it this week. We'll just run through my build. I'm running Stig Erison with Beer and Swirsky. Uh, we've got Subsurface Venture then we're running look at me now and it's always good to know where enemy destroyers are so I'm running perceptive and then because we don't want these lovely torpedo launchers knocked out we're running sheltered arms and then because I always like to be mobile I always run unstoppable on my destroyers as far as modules go we've got um, aiming systems mod 1 and then we're running propulsion mod 2 third slot we're running concealment system mod one and then in the fourth slot we're running torpedo launchers mod three now the important thing here is um, instead of four seconds we've got a 4.4 second reload but this is the good bit 62 seconds on the torpedo reload 12 kilometers at 90 knots and a 5.1 concealment so at tier 7 the concealment isn't too bad in this game we've got a division that has both the destroyers and an anchorage in it and so um, as I always say spot the biggest ship in the division and then you know where everybody else is and um, we're going to spawn here on B cap for some reason it throws both of our destroyers directly into the middle of the map and I decide because I've got range on these torpedoes and I want to basically get some use out of it but we are going to end up playing the entire map which is more than could be said for a number of other members of this team who are going to move no further than two grid squares until such time as there's a destroyer in the vicinity and then they're going to run as far and as fast as they can away from it. Now, with these torpedoes having such a short reload, you could literally fire a spread of torpedoes every 15 seconds and just keep that going through the match. Um, the only bad thing about these torpedoes, I say the good things are the range and the speed, the bad thing is the immensely low damage that they do. And we will see... Um, you know just how many torpedo hits i get for how much damage i get towards the end of the match now obviously that is also affected by torpedo damage reduction that some battleships may have but look at this i'm pushing straight out to the flank for this cap the other destroyer is pushing into b and all that's going to happen there is they're gonna sit on it and be contested and pretty much the rest of the team is gonna hunker down behind rocks as they always do and i said this was me out solo um i don't want to say it's selfish play I'm playing for the team I'm playing for the win I'm going to put myself where I need to be but I'm going to take what I can from this game and there is something very very much worth taking from this game but you've got to wait till the end now because we have this huge range on these torpedoes um, even though we're very very safe from a number of these battleships and pretty much most battleships secondaries that are out here we can just sail around keep things spotted and still have things within torpedo range um, i'm pushing all the way out these guys know they're spotted they know there's a destroyer around here and to be frank i think they realize that um, their only destroyers are in divisions so wherever the anchorage is is where their destroyers are and um, they want to be close to their destroyers and not have me coming knocking on their back door now i do have two torpedo reloads on this one and i have to say you know i have it, it th this this torpedo reload if you've got all four um sets of tubes ready and fire them and then hit a reload and fire all of those reloads as well um, you're still only waiting 62 seconds to have all those torpedoes back again now i don't know if somebody spotted the torpedoes running for the iowa but he is going to pick up one i don't like torpedoing things from behind um, because 
the closing speed is mitigated by the speed that the ship is going away from you. The only other bad thing about this is um, the torpedo angles once you get the first set off aren't very amazing. You do have to turn and give up some broadside, but I'm just looking at what's going on here. We've got one ship going one way, one ship going the other, and um, they all seem to be um, coming together in one point out there. Now, I could have stayed out there and waited 60 seconds and racked up another load of torpedoes, but we can play for some cap resets here, just pop a couple of shots off as we disappear. Are we going to disappear? Yes, we are there we go but you'll see that um, we have lost one ship and uh, well red team have just lost the ship as well that's good for me Nagato is going to pick up some torpedoes too how many is he getting one two three let's have a look there's three torpedoes on the Nagato but no flood there unfortunately and that's something that I've realized with this um, you'd think with the low yield torpedoes that you might get um, more opportunity at a floods but that is not the case um, it really seems to be um, hit and miss yeah whether or not you get a flood and I can't say that I've been getting a lot of floods in these games Fiji there hiding behind a rock obviously nobody's in a position to get shot on him while I've got him spotted and I'm calling for fire on him I think he realized he's spotted so we're going to spam our torpedoes across there just in case he decides to slam the brakes on on the edge of the other island and come back out but I think we miss all those torpedoes out there Calling for fire on the Iowa, our other destroyer has gone round there against the Iowa, still contesting that cap. So I've taken Charlie, I've come through Bravo in the middle, um, the Iowa goes down to Brandenburg for a flesh wound. Red team have lost four, there is a Fantask and I honestly don't know what happens here because I hit him for a fire and then he just kind of stops dead he gets one salvo of guns off and then we've got the torpedoes rudder it looks like we knock I don't know if it's engine or his rudder but I'm having a look here and he's de he's dead in the water this is why I run unstoppable so you're not stuck dead in the water like that with unstoppable if you get hit your engine is still going to run you're still going to move and you're still going to be able to steer but there is the Loyang in the middle of the map and look at where all of our ships are and yes I'm going to ping the map literally they're all just stuck there behind one little rock but they're going to start moving now because they know that that Loyang is there and I do come up on comms and I say look guys push Bravo cap it's only the Loyang he can't sink all of you at the same time so push him and kill him but no they're all scared little grannies where the um, the nasty burglar with his balaclava and a swag sack on his back has come knocking on her windows you know these guys are going to panic and they're going to start scattering like cockroaches in sunlight I've decided that it looks like B cap is uncontested because I know that the sorry A cap is uncontested because I know the destroyer is on Bravo. Um, there were three ships across here, two cruisers, one being the Fiji, the other one being the Anchorage that's in division with the Loyang, and there's a battleship unspotted which I think is the Rook. So I'm thinking I'm going to push down. There's the Anchorage. Let's uh, put some torpedoes to that side of the island. Is he going to push in or is he going to slow down and hide behind the island? And then we're just going to put a couple of spreads out there just in case this Loyang decides he wants to come in my direction now that I'm taking the cap. There we go. There's the Rook. He's been on his own across here and I'm on the cap and he is going to start turning and running now because he realizes that there is a destroyer all the way over here. And because our other destroyer is dead, it is very, very obvious which destroyer is on this cab. So, one battleship, two cruisers, one destroyer. 
we know where the destroyer last was. Now all the guys that have been humping islands have decided that they're gonna shoot at things now that they can see things, but nobody's prepared to come out from behind a rock to actually see things for themselves. Smoke screen across there. We briefly get a sh sight of a cruiser, but we are going to push through. We're not going to go chasing things. We're going to push through, take the cap, and then try and keep things spotted for the team. So I am playing the team game. That rook looks like he's turning in. Now, I don't know if there's anything in the smoke screen there, but we are going to just overlap all those torpedo salvos, hoping that the rook is going to keep running towards them. And now that we've got the cap, I'm going to turn out and head towards the edge of the map because the Fiji is heading this way. Now, if you look at the uh, damage score so far, we're just on 61,000, but we've had 10 torpedo hits, one fire and two floods. So 10 torpedo hits and pretty much any other destroyer, I think, would have annihilated at least half of the red team. But it's not the case with the Jaeger. Um, I'd say that it's a medium to long range destroyer. Um, you want to be out in open water where you have a sight of targets. Um, we pick up another torpedo hit on that rook. The Fiji is staying spotted and I was just wondering which way his guns were looking. Um, but again, torpedo reload is up. So we're going to just lay those four salvos out there. Um, it's crazy, 12 torpedoes, 90 knots. I'm also gonna switch to AP here as well, I think, just in case he gets a little bit more broadside to me and then I can give him a spanking. But the torpedoes are going to do their trick and that is kill number four with two ships left in the game. Now I did say that you would want to stick around to the end of this one, but why am I asking you to stick around? Are you excited like I am at the potential for the 10th game in the Jaeger to be coming home with that blessing of Poseidon and the Kraken Unleashed medal? Well, this anchorage, looking at how many hit points he has, is going to have to really eat the torps to go down in one salvo. And even though I've got the speed, I'm thinking I want to close this guy down a little bit more because all the pansies that have been humping the rocks have now decided they actually want to play the game and push through and have a crack at this anchorage. So I decide that I am now going to get my torpedoes out and no sooner have I fired them than obviously the anchorage starts turning away. So we try to get his attention with our guns and see just what the AP's like on a broadside cruiser. It's not amazing, but had I held those torpedoes a little bit earlier, oh, are we going to get the kill? No, the Kansas gets the kill. Again, two torpedo hits, no flood. That is um, what we're on now. 15 torpedo hits, 90,000 damage. One ship left in the game. It's the Loyang. Loyang has 5.4 kilometer sonar. He has smoke screens. So um, I've got 5.1 concealment. So the second he bumps me, if he has sonar and smoke available, the clever thing to do in the Loyang is pop the smoke, disappear, and then um, fire up the sonar because then he can gun me down. And um, also he will be able to see any torpedoes coming. But what we're going to do, um, using that ship that's in front of us. I now know that I'm closer than he is, but we put out our wall of skill. There's the Loyang. Um, literally to this point, I hadn't lost a hit point in this game, which I think has taken quite skillful play. And it's also given me the advantage over this Loyang. The rest of the team are still shooting at him. I'm staying on guns. There's a Confederate. He avoids the torpedoes, RNG screws me for a full salvo, but there it is, Kraken Unleashed number 162, 5 kills, 
15 torpedo hits, 2 solo caps, 5 floods out of those 15 torpedo hits, a confederate and a kraken. No high calibre but I put that down to the low yield on those torpedoes. 3,389 base XP, so what's that? That's more than 1,200 above second place. There's our Kansas with a single kill in the middle of the board. I have no idea what the North Carolina was doing. But there we go, my max damage so far in the game is only 115,000, but um, 10 games played, 50% win rate, uh, 1,700 average XP across the games. So we're not playing it badly, but we're just being a little bit let down by some of the teams that we're getting put in with. But um, have you finished the campaign yet? Let me know if you've got the Jaeger. Let me know what your high score and your high base XP is and uh, just how you're getting on with it. Don't forget, smash the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't done already. And as always, until next time, take care of yourselves and goodbye.